my youtube family back to back videos what's going on welcome back to my channel and welcome back into another video in today's video i'm gonna be discussing my experience with a thyroid ultrasound you can call it right i had an ultrasound for my thyroid um and <clears throat> around my neck and today's video we're going to be discussing the process why did i decide to get or why did i get uh, a thyroid um ultrasound and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the video so let's get right into it if you guys have been keeping up with my channel uh you guys know that i've been suffering from a lot of uh throat issues lately um i believe that it's caused by my GERD issues but it's never been this bad when it comes to my throat and my esophagus and lately i've been having first of all that global sensation right the lump in the throat feeling which is so uncomfortable on top of that, I've been having a lot of burning, which I believe is due, you know, caused obviously by <clears throat> my my gastro issues, my my gastric juices, and on top of that, I've been having this um, discomfort around my throat, which is right under my Adam's apple, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, by the anatomy, right under your Adam's apple is um, your thyroid, right, Th thyroid gland. So. I was, it's, you know, starting to feel very uncomfortable. It's been going like this at least from now to two months since I'm changed at this point. So when I went to the ENT and I went to my doctor, I talked to them about that. And I was like, can I just get, you know, something done? And I'm deciding to go through with scans and whatnot because I, a few guys were here about a year or two in my channel. I had a testing done with uh, a camera, you know, the basic um testings that ENTs do to check the top part, you know, the one third of your, um, your mouth and also your esophagus. And they, they saw like a, uh, like a cyst. They, at the beginning, they didn't think it was, you know, nothing crazy, nothing cancerous. It didn't look, you know, malignant. Um, but you know, that's always stuck in my head, you know, and I took his word for it, you know, but he told me that if you wanted to get checked, you can do a CT scan obviously would die to make sure that it's not cancerous and, you know, maybe we can get rid of that. Obviously, I've taken my time with that because, you know, I feel like it hasn't really been bothering me up to that point. And the cyst was right above, like, where my vo vocal cords are at. And, it, I mean, it, I don't feel it, but he did mention that it was there. So now that I'm having these throat issues and maybe, you know, some issues when it comes to my gastro issues again, I just want to play it safe. You know, thank God I have really good insurance through my job. But let me tell you, regardless, this crap is expensive, man. Like, I just went, listen, this is the band that I got from doing the um, the ultrasound. And it literally cost me out of pocket like 300 bucks. So being, being sick is expensive. Let's go with that. Being sick in America it's too expensive. And to be honest, to the amount of sickness that I've been having and dealing with in my life, anywhere in the world is expensive, damn it. So excuse my language. But yeah, so um, I decided to get, you know, go through with the testings. Uh, I told them, you know, can I check um, my thyroid gland? What, you know, what's around here that we can check to see, to make sure that my neck is good and nothing's, you know, crazy going on? Because we, we want to make sure that everything is good up to that point, right? You at least want to rule things out. And I'm about that life. I'm about ruling things out of your life so that you can concentrate. Uh, maybe everything is deriving just from my gastro issues. And then we can try to keep con concentrating on that. Because on the other end, I am checking. I am, you know, constantly seeing my doctors and trying to figure out why now I'm having that stomach inflammation. I'm having these, you know, excessive episodes of, of acid reflux or gastric juices uh, um, episodes which is, you know, something that's another story, you know, on, on my book. So anyway, so I told them um, about the, the issues. And uh, today I had um, the ultrasound. And this is just like any other ultrasounds that you have done. Ultrasounds are very simple, very. And I actually, I kind of love ultrasounds. Uh, although when they put, uh, when they, you know, they, they, they passed me through and I went to the room, first of all, the lady that was there, she was really, really nice. I always give props to healthcare, uh, professionals whenever I have a really good experience with them, especially in my, I like to shout them out. I forgot her name though, but we had a great conversation and she was really, you know, a really cool people, really interesting, really cool. She was really nice and sweet. Uh, especially when you're going through so much in life, I feel like you kind of need that from from healthcare professionals. You know what I mean? I get it; it's their job. But regardless, sometimes you feel that love, and it's very beautiful. So, um, we had you know great conversation. Uh, the test was really simple. They got me in there. 
Um, I sat down, I laid flat, kind of had a pillow on the back of my back. So it wouldn't be on my neck or my head. It would just be in the back, the top uh, part of my back. So when you laid back, you know, your, 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 your head naturally tilts back and then you have access to your, uh, to your throat and, um, and you, you know, the neck area. Right. So she started with the, the procedure, you know, she checked all around really thoroughly. Um, every time that you do an ultrasound, they always put this little gel thing in the beginning, you know, it's kind of cold, but then it eventually it just get, it gets warmer throughout the time. Uh, every time you do an ultrasound of something, I feel like there is some type of mess because of the gel they use. So you always feel like, you know, sometimes a little gooey, um, or even after you clean up, you feel like there is like, it's still wet and stuff like that. And it's just very interesting how, how that works with ultrasounds, but it's very simple. I think we did that. She did, uh, the ultrasound and she looked, um, throughout my, throughout my throat, my, my gland, uh, and she took about 10, 15 minutes, maybe tops. And it was really fast. It was really fast. She checked everything she needed to do. Um, obviously they can't tell you if it's looking good or it's looking bad. That's, a, you know, that's for, uh, the doctor to see and to decide if, you know, there's anything wrong with your thyroid or anything else going on in that area. Um, but you know, they can tell typically from having so much experience, if something looks, uh, normal or not. Right. Uh, regardless though, I will get my results later. When I talk to my ENT later on, I have a CT scan of my neck with dye next week, uh, which is going to be again, expensive, but we're going to rule things out. You know, I have, I thank God <laughs> that he provided me with a good job to pay for all this, man. Cause man is expensive, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm having that next week and we will see, um, how everything turns out. And if everything is healthy, then we're going to continue to, to, you know, to try to keep, um, working on the gastro stuff and, and, and I will keep you guys up updated on that. But yeah, man, the, the test and the procedure was really simple. Uh, you know, no, not harmful. It didn't hurt. Uh, they're very, for the most part, very gentle. Sometimes they press on a little harder to get, you know, into areas that, you know, that they struggle to see, but it's nothing. I mean, it's literally nothing. Like you can literally, they lay down. If you're not talking, you can close your eyes and just go to sleep. You know, I, 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 I tell a story on my channel and, and, uh, uh, I had a ultrasound on my testicle one time and, you know, the lady was the, the, she, the professional that, you know, that did it, you know, obviously she was very professional, but like I was literally falling asleep in the ultrasound sometimes because it's just, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it soothing, but in general, I feel like it's just it's just so simple. It's relaxing, um, and you're just you know hanging out in the facility. But anyways, that was my experience, guys, with uh, my thyroid gland ultrasound. Uh, I want to share that with you guys because I know some people that go through procedures or are going through procedures in the future, they want to know what it's like. And this one is one of the basic procedures that you can get. Nothing crazy. If you ever had an ultrasound in general. This will come really lightly for you guys. I do these videos for people who suffer from a lot of health uh, anxiety to make to to ease, you know, to facilitate things so I can just give you give you a peace of mind on what's going on. I know exactly what having health anxiety feels like and it's scary. You know, it's it's a lot of overthinking, but hopefully, you know, this eases your mind when it comes to uh, having procedures like these. Um, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing scary. So, you know, just to keep that in mind, hopefully you guys go through with the procedure and everything turns out well for you guys. So I will keep you guys updated anything that I come up with, um, and keep you up with the process, man. Cause it's, uh, it's been a struggle lately, but we got to keep on keeping on. So, uh, thank you guys for watching uh, the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 90% of you guys that watch my channel do not subscribe to my channel, which is crazy work out of you guys. Uh, so don't forget to, you know, show some love like the, the the video, share it, comment. Uh, if you're experiencing anything or you have experienced anything of this nature, I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But I appreciate the love regardless. Thank you guys. See you guys on the next one. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, familia. Adios.